founding vision is to create a world of peace and to do that we have to reach people wherever they are not just the politicians not not just the rich people but the poor people as well the majority of the world has to be reached in some way Wongo came up with the the name the motto if you like play soccer make peace but behind this idea is the original idea of using sport or in this case using soccer as a vehicle play soccer or make peace is bringing everyone together and pushing aside whether you're this you're that race and I don't like you pushing aside all of that and it brings everyone to come together in a competitive friendly competitive way soccer is a great sport and people love to watch and play soccer people play for the sake of playing a visionary like Reverend Moon take this sport which everybody loves and put in it more value by saying to young people especially yes play soccer but play soccer for a higher ideal the vision is to inspire the young people that they're not just playing a game of sport but that they can use that and that can receive some education that they can share within their local communities we're definitely about creating winners we don't want to have everybody dancing around as if you know we're just sort of it's a nice little party and don't we love each other. This is not the point. It's competition and it's serious. You want to win, of course, you know, things like that. And you want the goal. But you want to win for your team. You want to win for everyone that you're supporting. And, and you know, there have been red cards, there have been yellow cards, there have been people sent off. So sometimes I'm afraid it does get very serious. But the concept to bring it all together and to frame it is that it's possible to learn how to, to win correctly. Young people are don't see so many good examples in sport these days. You know, they see sportsmen getting upset and losing their temper on the field. Um, the peace element for us is, is just telling people, helping people understand that maintaining good character is part of sport. That being someone who wants to win and by you know, investing themselves and doing their best in a situation, never mind the circumstances, but always maintaining the right attitude. We are all God's sons and daughters. I'm really looking at building a world of peace where we can live in harmony. Play Soccer Make Peace in its design tries to say from the smallest person to the largest person, maybe the best person on the team, it doesn't matter. Every person is valuable. In the way we designed our competition, we said team-wise, we have the first, second, third, fourth places and then we have the runners-up, the four runners-up. Well, we understand it's competition and everybody wants to get the top prizes, but we also give prizes to the four runners-up as well. And the reason is to say, look, you came, you involved yourself, you gave passionately of yourself. We want to reward that. We want to say, your job well done. Encourage that. Not just dismiss it, well, I'm sorry, you failed. They did not fail. They came and they gave of their best. Well, the uh, Play Soccer Make Peace program was really something that inspired people in Peru. Uh, of course, Peru is a very football conscious country, but never thought about how to combine it with moral education. And when they were presented with the vision, they really took it to heart and worked hard to bring about a successful event. In Peru, particularly, I think one of the most moving aspects was that it brought together people from different districts from the barrios, people from some very poor areas, people from some, some middle class areas. Usually these people don't mix. And the, the wonderful thing about soccer is you can come up from a different part of town, come onto the same field, put on a uniform, and pretty much you look the same in a sense you have the same qualification. 
but it, this allows the young boys in this case to come together and to meet other people from the same city but ones which they would normally never meet. Let me just sort of highlight Israel. It's a really interesting case because I think for many people if, if peace can't come in Israel then it can't come anywhere. So the design of the tournament there was to have four Arab teams playing against four Jewish teams and it wasn't a, a fixed, you know, it, it just worked out this way that in the final we had an Arab team and a Jewish team playing together. Here's an example of just out of a small, you know, small beginnings, what can come. So the, the Israeli Football Federation, the director, the president, he came to the final match. He managed to get there about halfway through. He came in the, for the second half and he was just so excited because he said, you know, this has been missing from Israeli football up till now. We have had an instance of a red card, if you know what a red card is. So, but we've also had instances in Mongolia of the green card. This is a green card, which is interesting. That's for the person who's really playing to the best of their character. And I was very inspired by that. Young kids, 13, 14 years old, and they have a model of not just uh, punishing or, or identifying the, the, you know, the, the players who are making mistakes or making fouls, but actually identifying those players who really are exemplifying the skills of soccer and really playing, you know, like the best, so they get a, a recognition. When we go to play soccer, make peace, all of a sudden the ultimate goal is not winning. The ultimate goal is to connect and connect with your opponents in a, in a more deeper way. And winning, of course, but the ultimate goal is to connect as a, as a, a global family. I feel that on the field, you know. Really, we're here for a bigger purpose than winning. One of the main things which we would like to accomplish, or we are accomplishing now through the Play Soccer Make Peace, is to give each member of the team a sense of value. Everybody is valuable and everybody has something to contribute to it. And the contribution which we are looking for is a contribution which doesn't just come from the individual, but comes from a group, from a people, a group, a team who are bound together by one vision and working together to accomplish that vision. Well, we're teaching people uh, the value of sport uh, and fair play, let's say. You know, that's, I think that's the simple way to put it. You know, that sport isn't about who wins, it's about how, how well you play and what a good relationship you have or you can create with your team members and then in the competition itself. So, you know, it, it's a case of not saying you've got to win at all costs, but do your best and be proud that you won or also be proud that you played even if you didn't win. It's remarkable that the people who, who, who possibly weren't as, as well prepared, as well trained, were able to say that, that they enjoyed that, that it lifted them up. They didn't win, but they won.